Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, I'm Sheikh Excel Master and I'm your friend Faraz Sheikh. And today we are going to learn about relative and absolute cell references. Well, what are relative and absolute cell references? And what will be the purpose of these references? Well, there are two types of cell references. One is relative and absolute. The relative and absolute cell references work differently when they copied or filled to another cell. Relative references change when the formula is copied to another cell. Absolute references, on other hand, remains the constant no matter wherever you copy them. By the way, default all the cell references are relative references. So when you copy across multiple cells, they change based on the relative positions of the rows and columns. For the better understanding of relative reference, we are going to see this small example where we are going to multiply the quantity with the product price. So here we are going to multiply the price with the quantity. And with the help of fill handle, we will drag the formula down. Excellent. So let us see the column where the references are being changed. Well, yes, it's B3 multiplied by C3. Yes, B4 multiplied by C4. And so on. So this is what we call the relative reference. They change based on the relative position of a row and column. And they are especially convenient whenever you need to repeat the same calculation across the multiple rows and columns. Now let us talk about absolute cell references. There are many times when you don't want to change the cell reference when you are doing some kind of a calculation. You would like to keep a specific cell to be an absolute cell reference. So whenever you are copying, the absolute cell reference will remain the same. So let us quickly look at the example that we have over here. In order to calculate the sales tax, we will multiply the price by the quantity by the sales tax percentage. So, so as we can see in our formula, we are getting an error. The reason why we are getting this error that the cell E3 is not an absolute reference. In order to ensure that our sales tax form remains an absolute cell reference, we will lock the cell or we will make the cell reference absolute by pressing the function F4 key. So once I press an F4 key, you must have seen the formula E2 is having the dollar sign, where there is a dollar sign before the letter and before the number. This represents the column and the rows will not change whenever you copy the formula. If I hit the F4 key again, in this case, the row do not change when you copy the formula. If we hit the F4 key again, in this event, the column does not change when we copy the formula. And if we hit back F4 again, it will change the value to a relative reference. But we want it to be an absolute reference, where our columns and rows should not move. Center and we will fill the formula by the fill handle and if we go and check the formula as you can see the cell has made this as an absolute cell reference well to understand the absolute cell references with the columns and rows let us quickly look this example so let us look when we don't want the columns and rows to change so we will select the cell value and we'll make the cell value absolute cell reference by hitting the F4 key. When we copy the formula, it will remain the same. Let us look when we want the Excel not to change the row. Equals to menu item. We'll hit F4 key two times. F4, F4, where it will not change the row. So so paste it, it is changing only the columns. So if I press enter now, you will see the same content has been repeated again. It's because we have made the cell reference to absolute row reference. Well, in other words, we can say we have locked the rows. Now let us look when we don't want our columns to change. T equals to, we'll change it from relative to absolute cell reference by hitting F4 key three times one two three great there are menu items here 
Okay, copy. And we'll paste it. As you can see, it has locked the columns but not the rows. Which means you have turned your cell reference to absolute column. In other words, we can say we have lock our columns. Let us see whether it will take the next value. That's great. Toothbrush pizza. Excellent. So in this case, my columns are locked, but my rows are not locked. So two important things, my friend, about the absolute cell reference that they do not change when you copy or fill the cell. And absolute cell reference has been designated in the formula by adding a dollar sign. I hope, my friends, this video would be helpful for you for understanding the relative and absolute cell references. And I hope you have enjoyed this video. So please push a like button, share this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll be keep posting more Excel videos. Signing off for today, your friend Farah Sheikh from F Sheikh Excel Master.